How's it going bros? My name is PewDiePie and today bros, this isn't gonna be your average fully grueling video. It's actually gonna be a lot worse. This is just gonna be me drawing and talking in Roblox free draw. So it's not gonna be the usual mega jega edited in like hyper brain rot, bunch of things popping on the screen type of content. This one's just gonna be mega chill. And the reason this week's upload is kind of laid back is because I, I kind of had a rough week and I just wanna chill out a little bit. Uh, originally, I had a, another drawing avatars and spray paint video slotted for this week, so I do what I always do. I told people on Discord that I was recording, and everybody hopped in spray paint, and I was drawing avatars for like seven hours. And I wasn't recording. I wasn't recording. <laughs> Never in my life has my soul been that crushed. I recorded the, the drawings so you can look at them here, but it's just not the same without actually watching the speed paint and watching the people react. <laughs> I'm sorry to everybody who thought they were about to be in a video. Uh, I am an idiot. <coughs> now you're stuck with this garbage video. But yeah, this is just me drawing in Roblox free draw as if I was drawing in a sketchbook. Just drawing whatever I want, whatever I feel like. Just having fun with art. As always. You'll notice that sometimes while I'm drawing an actual image, it'll cut to me drawing somebody's Roblox avatar because they drew fan art of me and I felt the need to return the favor. So that's that's what that is. Okay, so another reason why this video is so low maintenance is because uh, I don't know if you can tell or not by like the way my voice sounds, but I got sick. <laughs> So, and like bad sick, like I was bedridden for like a couple days. And I don't know, being away from the, the weekly grind, which is making YouTube videos, just got me thinking, man. It got me all existential and rethinking my life <laughs> with like this whole YouTube thing, which is stupid because I just started and it was supposed to be for fun, but it's putting me in a weird spot mentally. So I kind of want to talk about it. I think it was around like three or four weeks ago, my channel like blew up a little bit you know not mr beast levels obviously but my vids got a lot of attention for a second and it really made me used to like constant validation which is not something i'm used to i am not used to constant compliments being sent to my phone before youtube my only irl friend was my girlfriend samantha but now i have a lot of internet friends which is a, a weird transition for a lonely introvert like me so obviously i'm incentivized to keep going with the whole youtube internet thing especially now that i get paid so lately i've just been non-stop working on youtube videos every day people always tell me uh, don't overwork yourself man don't burn yourself out but it's like i i, I like it i'm gonna do it i don't know the grind don't stop but then I got sick and I didn't record and then the grind did stop and I got really sad for a second. Um, I don't know. I'm about to get personal, which is not something I'm used to with a bunch of strangers, but fuck it. Initially, I didn't even want to do YouTube. I thought that YouTubers are like people who have a, an attention complex. Basically, people who like never got attention as a kid, so they like go on the internet for virtual attention, which is a thi which I, th I think everybody craves attention to a certain extent. So you can't really knock someone for wanting attention and then getting it by entertaining people. But I do think for YouTube, it, it, it can make someone shallow when all you care about is the attention that you're getting and like how many views you're getting and shit. And, and I've kind of fallen into that hole a little bit. For example, this Christmas video I came out with like two weeks ago, I am not happy with it and the views kind of reflect how it's not as good as my, my first two bangers, which would be my second spray paint video and mic up video, which those are like my two magnum opus lighting in the bottle videos right now. And the Christmas one was just supposed to be that, but Christmas edition. But then it had so much filler packed at the end and stuff, and I don't know. And, and plus the drawings were bad. I think I was subconsciously sick of drawing people's avatars. But yeah, back on topic though, that video didn't perform as well as my other two bangers, so it kind of made me think, oh, well, that's it. I'm dead. My channel's dead. It's over for me. GG. But that is such a, a stupid thing to say because it's actually that video is doing fucking amazing man it has like 70k views and you know the the one the ones i'm comparing it to have like 150 or somewhere near that which you know 70k is still a lot when i first started this channel when i got like 100 views on a video i was i was excited man i was like holy shit 100 people that's so much and now i'm sat here complaining about like 70k that's 70 thousand people so yeah, I realize that all of this is irrational and stupid, but but no, that video marked the first time where I was like really self-conscious about a video. Every single other video I posted before then, I was like really confident with 
and like ready to upload it but for that one i was like dreading the second it came out because i thought the comments would be like oh rare fooly l oh this is trash what was this bro but <laughs> Actually, no, that's a lie. I was self-conscious about the Q&A video, but I don't know. Actually, lately, I'm always self-conscious about when I upload a video, but that always gets taken away when I read the comments, which are always just so nice. That internet validation, man, it really keeps you going. <laughs> but yeah, the thing with YouTube is that, like, it'll make you so numb to compliments. Ever since the algorithm picked up my content, people will join off me while I'm drawing in Roblox and just make me feel good about myself. They'll say things like, oh, you're my favorite YouTuber. I love your art. You've made me want to draw again. And it's like, thank you. It, but it's also like, I, I know I'm not your favorite, you fucking liar. There's so many better channels out there. And you know, it's, 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 it's fun. It's nice. I like it. I'm happy with it. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. The, the point though is that when you're getting a whole bunch of compliments all the time, really nice, thoughtful compliments so often on YouTube, it, it doesn't feel as special anymore. And you know, that kind of sucks because Back in the day, I used to love me a good compliment. You know, us guys, we don't really get that many, so... For me, when I when anybody ever complimented me, that would rip my heart out. I would go goo goo ga, -ga for a good compliment, man. It would let me go for another two years, but now I just hear compliments, or well, well, I read compliments all the time, and now I can't help but to feel like, Oh yeah, you like my drawing? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm kind of the shit. <laughs> but you know, it's that's not an actual issue, just an observation. Let me explain why I got all existential this week with the whole YouTube thing. My initial dream with what I wanted to do my, with my life is like be an animator. And hopping into this YouTube channel, I was telling myself, oh yeah, this is just going to be for fun, the Roblox thing, but here and there I'm going to upload animations and I haven't done that yet and I and I'm pressuring myself to not upload animations because I'm like I have the mindset where like oh if it's not Roblox it's not gonna get views and that makes me want to delete my channel and restart fresh and just only do animations but Roblox art is fun though I like doing this but it's more of like a temporary fun thing to do while animation would be like a more fulfilling practice i guess so it's like trying to choose fun over purpose and obviously the chad big alpha daddy would always choose purpose over fun which is why i was debating deleting this channel this week but i'm a big mega jega alpha daddy obviously you can still have fun and purpose so i'm gonna do both so i think i'm gonna post a cartoon here and there uh it's, they'll be short i'll probably have to make them in a week and if nobody watches it i won't give a fuck because i liked making it but that doesn't mean i like hate making roblox videos i do i like making them it's just that sometimes i get in my own head and i suck the fun out of it the thing about those two initial magnum opus videos were, was that like i was having fun making them but with the christmas video i i, I I'm gonna be real with you, it wasn't that fun for a lot of it. Even with like Flea coming in and the whole 20k special thing, it, it, that was a miserable video to make for me. Namely because it was the first video where I had to pull a whole all-nighter just so I can get it uploaded within a week from the last one so my channel doesn't fucking die. Which is another mindset I'm kind of confused about. Like, I'm, I'm so scared to lose this niche internet micro celebrity thing so badly that I'm willing to ruin my sleep for it but it's like just it's taking the fun out of it man i also think i'm being less productive uh, i don't know why i think it's a mindset thing or something i haven't been working out since the christmas video to try to be more productive on that video but i think ironically it's making me less productive because if you don't know working out keeps you in a more clear and concise mental state but yeah ever since that christmas video it all went to shit i also had to pull an all-nighter on that redesigning scary monsters video i did but, but that, that one was a lot funner to make. That one was a breath of fresh air. I definitely want to do more character design stuff and just try out new things in general. You know, add more variety to the channel. Hence why I'm trying a, like just a straight up commentary video right now. And funny enough, that video is doing better than the Christmas one. So I, I think a key takeaway would be that if you're having fun with the video, it will probably translate to the viewers. So just gotta have fun, man. But yeah, uh, sorry about the whole woe is me speech um i don't know how cringe this is gonna seem after i upload it but <laughs> hopefully i don't regret this upload but no i'm i'm just getting all of these thoughts out i guess call it therapy with pewdiepie um and, and, all, and all of you are my therapist thank you anyways bros that's gonna have to do it for now um if you've made it this far then tell me if you like this sort of content or not 
check out this neat fan art, uh, check out my Discord in the description. Thank you to those who've given me tips via memberships or super thanks. And yeah, okay. Bro fist. Okay, bye. Thank you. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin.